the thing that God is calling you to do, the small, faithful thing that God is calling you to do is right in front of you. I mean, you, you don't need another revelation from God. You just need to be faithful with one step. I mean, I'm talking simple. What, what the problem is, is that Satan would like to convince you it's not enough. He may be telling you, like, no, no, I just need you to switch your music up. Like, on the way to work, I want you to have worship rather than the other stuff. It may be a simple step, and you're like, well, that's silly. That's not going to change that much. And if, if God is calling you to do that, and that's the next faithful step, that's the biggest thing you can do in your life in this moment, is to choose to trust him and listen to him with the small stuff. He may be telling you, like, hey, I just need you to be consistent around a group of people. Just be at church on Sunday. Let's just start there. Let's just be at church. And you're like, that's, I mean, but I got a thing I got to do, and it's, like, really complicated to change my schedule, God. Like, I don't really know. And God is saying, if you'll just trust me with this small thing, small, insignificant thing, just give me an hour and ten minutes on a Sunday. And you say, well, that's small. And God is saying, if you can be faithful with the small things, I can trust you with the big things. And before you know it, one small step, one small step, one small faithful step. And before you know it, you're going to look back and you're going to be somewhere and you're going to do something. You're going to see life change. You're going to see your marriage change. You're going to see your kids change. You're going to see your finances change. And people around you are going to look and be like, oh my goodness, did you see the giant in that life? That was awesome. You're like an overnight success. Like I cannot believe when God calls you to start that business that it would just blow up like this. I cannot believe how healthy your marriage is. That's crazy. That's so amazing that God did that. You guys seem so happy together. I can't believe that your kids love Jesus like that. It doesn't make any sense. They're passionate world changers. What is going on? I can't believe all of a sudden you just got so lucky. And you're like, hold up. That wasn't luck. I, I didn't get lucky. I didn't just happen to stumble on to a healthy marriage. I didn't just happen to stumble on to healthy finances. I didn't just happen to stumble on to a passionate relationship with Jesus. I just didn't happen to take down this giant. David didn't just throw rocks in any random spot. No, no, no. I took one faithful step after another. You didn't see the times that I was planting and watering. You didn't see the conversations in my marriage where we fought for it and we worked at it and we put work in it. You didn't see when I started the business, I was putting 12-hour days in at times because God had called me to do it to be faithful. You didn't see when I started writing the book the amount of hours I was typing and editing and sending it for feedback and getting rejections. You didn't see the times that we wanted to do a whole lot of other things, but we chose church instead. We chose God instead. You didn't see the times that we were tired at night and we chose to pray with our kids anyways. You didn't see the times that we were crying and struggling to make the right small choice, but you think it's an overnight success. And what I want you to know is a bunch of small, faithful steps to trust God because my God was big enough and that glorious marriage, that healthy finances, the kids that love Jesus, all of those things came together because years ago you made the decision, no, no, I'll trust God one faithful step at a time.